Good morning, everyone. My name is Jim Pyle. I have the privilege of serving here at Calvary Church as the senior adults pastor. And it's a joy to welcome all of you that are here in the sanctuary with us this morning. Thanks for coming out and braving the weather uh, and cool air out there to come and join us this morning. And uh, welcome to all of you who are watching via live stream as well. I'll open in prayer in just a moment. Uh, it's always a privilege and joy to come together to uh, hear some beautiful music on a monthly basis. But I just wanted to mention today we have two special guests that will be helping their mother play today. Elena and Andrew Hildebrand are with us right down here. They're going to be assisting Elizabeth this morning to play. So let me open in prayer and we'll get started. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to come together here this morning to praise you through worship music that we'll hear via the organ and piano. Help each one of us to meditate upon the great truths, the, the great sacrifice that Christ has made on our behalf, that we can know you personally through the precious blood of the Lamb. So as we hear this beautiful music played, may we contemplate all that you have done for us and are doing and will do for us, and that every good gift comes from you, from the Father of lights with whom there is no sh shifting shadow, and we're grateful for this opportunity to be together here this morning. So bless our time together, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's welcome Elizabeth Hildebrand. <clears throat>
Thank you, Elizabeth. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And uh, I'm sure it warms your heart as it does mine to see Elena, who's in the sixth grade, up here accompanying her mom a few minutes ago. Elena, thank you. And in just a few moments, Andrew, who is in third grade, will be coming and assisting, accompanying his mom on the organ as we listen to Blessed Assurance. But as I sat there and listened to the music, knowing them the way I do, playing the heart of worship, the song that they played, it's all about Jesus. And that's, I know that's their heartbeat. It's our heartbeat here at Calvary Church that we follow our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And with that said, in a few moments, as I just mentioned, Elizabeth and Andrew will be leading us with the great hymn by Fanny Crosby called Blessed Assurance. And so I did a little research and uh, wanted to share a few things with you about this magnificent hymn that you may not have known before. Fanny Crosby lived from 1820 to 1915. She was an only child from Brewster, New York and was one of the most prolific hymn writers the world has ever seen, composing over 8,000 hymns. Isn't that amazing? 8,000 hymns, along with several books and over 1,000 poems. Blind from an early age, Crosby saw the world through her mind's eye. In describing her hymn writing process, Crosby once said, quote, it may seem a little old fashioned to always to begin one's work with prayer, but I never undertake a hymn without first asking the good Lord to be my inspiration. The hymn Blessed Assurance reveals that she did indeed believe her Lord to be good. Blessed Assurance is an exploration of the wonder of what it means to walk presently in what the Apostle Peter calls a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. For Fanny Crosby, one thing this living hope means is that we have a reason right now to celebrate with the confidence to draw near to God, trusting that he will never cast us away. Blessed assurance in unashamed, is unashamedly joyful. Crosby uses words like foretaste, praising, delight, happy, goodness, and of course, blessed, to give the song its buoyancy. In a cynical world, a hymn like this is refreshing. Crosby isn't offering Christians a false sense of optimism. She is articulating the sure and eternal benefits of the work of Christ given to the believer. <clears throat> To put it in biblical terms here, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 22 says, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So that begs the question, do you have full assurance that you are going to heaven today if you would die today? Romans 10, 13 says, whoever will call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's our prayer for each one of you here today, that you call upon the name of the Lord by confessing your sins and trusting Christ so that you can have a true heart in full assurance of faith, a heart that's sprinkled clean by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. This writer goes on to say, the Christian's hope for happiness and peace is not wishful thinking. It is based on what we have already, have already been promised because of the finished work of Christ, a blessed assurance that Jesus is ours. So I'm going to invite you to take your hymnal in front of you and turn to page 345. And you can follow along as I read the lyrics of this beautiful hymn. Page 345 in the hymn book in front of you. Three stanzas and then the refrain. 
blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. And then the refrain, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. So I invite you to keep your hymnals open as they play for us in just a minute. But I wanted to close with those thoughts in mind by Fanny Crosby, again from the Holy Scriptures. Psalm 145, verses 1 through 7, the psalmist puts it this way. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds and I will declare your greatness. They shall pour forth the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. We hope that you're filled with his goodness and his love by trusting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Now let's enjoy hearing Blessed Assurance.
Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but that Takata is my favorite rendition of Amazing Grace. Every time I hear that played, it's so beautiful. Why is that? What a great Savior we have that saved a wretch like me. I'm just so grateful to God. It gives me goosebumps to sit there and listen to that. It's just amazing. And that's, we trust that's the hope that you have in your heart as well. Well, take your bulletin for a second there and turn on the back page. We have some information about our church there. If you don't have a church home, feel free to come and worship with us at 945 every Sunday. We have adult life groups before and after the church service uh, each week. I mentioned there the next senior adult luncheon is May uh, 25th and the organ concert, our last one for this season, May 25th, the same day uh, next month. And then as I mentioned earlier, for those of you who are interested, we're going to take a trip this September, a senior adult bus trip with Christian Tours. We have an informational meeting next Tuesday here at the church in the banquet room at 1 p.m. with Christian Tours. So invite you to spread that word as well. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you. There you are. Thank you, Elena. Andrew, thank you. Let's thank them again. <clears throat> it's so heartwarming to see these young people worship the Lord using their gifts. Well, let me close in prayer. Those of you who uh, need a little extra time may leave first to get up to our luncheon or to exit. Those of you who don't need assistance, uh, you're welcome to fellowship here a little bit in the sanctuary before you leave. Thanks again for coming. We appreciate uh, your support and coming out for this uh, beautiful time together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thanks uh, that we can listen to such beautiful hymns and songs and to praise you. Greatly are you to be praised. Your love for us is unsearchable and your goodness toward us, and we're so grateful for that. And now may the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of us as we pray in Christ's precious name. Amen. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks again for coming.